talking about the threat, organized crime, terrorism, street crime, crazy people. Terror has spread in the last couple of years and that means that embassies or NGOs suddenly have to have armored vehicles for their protection. During this driver training, we want to deliver as much information as possible. There are many things that are different on the armored car and that need to be explained in detail. You want to use the weight of your upper body and press down. If someone gets hurt after a bomb attack, after the vehicle was shot at, or even after an accident, the drivers must be able to administer first aid on a high level. Right arm, your hand is gone. Go, 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 go. Your right arm, your hand is gone. Generally, what we see is that actually anyone should do such a driver training. Not necessarily the tactical components, but the medical part. I can feel your heart. It is in the nature of the armored vehicle that accidents, when they occur, the vehicle can roll because the center of gravity is very high. What is holding you right now? Is it the safety belt or your muscles? Yes, yeah, safety belt. Okay, now you need to start using your muscles. We therefore expose the students of the training to such a situation for them to understand what needs to be done. All right, you are a team of four. And you have two casualties. Delaware, red, white, one. Yalla, yalla, yalla. First, you check for additional injuries. Do a check on the ambassador. What's wrong with him? He's unconscious. Yeah, he's very heavy. He's very, very heavy. What are you going to do now? This. Team leader says what needs to be done. Come on, bring him to the other car. Sometimes it's just this one second that you need to make a clear decision and to get you, the vehicle and your passengers out of harm's way. Between the non-armored and the armored car, there are of course obvious differences. The weight, the center of gravity, but also the braking distance is slightly longer than that of a non-armored car. Fast lane change. You do not reduce your speed. You go around the obstacle and you continue driving on the other side. Yalla, go. And come on, guys, a bit faster. Yes, very good. Very often, drivers are being sent to us who lack the very, very basic driving skills. Physical fitness and mental fitness are important for drivers. In a critical situation when someone gets wounded or hurt, the driver will then have to eventually pull that person out of a vehicle or transfer him from one vehicle to another vehicle or even pull him or carry him over a longer distance into safety. Go, 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 Putting the students under stress is very, very important because that is the real-life scenario. We have seen drivers who froze, who simply could not complete exercises because we exposed them to too much stress. Tactical means using maybe the, the car as a weapon to breach through a, uh, a checkpoint or roadblock, but also how to behave if you are under fire and you are not carrying arms. The vehicle is on fire, that needs to go faster. are experts who have themselves served in the war zone 
and who have experienced very critical and dangerous situations in the past. So we have created a unique training package that you will probably not find anywhere else.